Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This reading is going to be the bonus reading for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. You, Gemini, and Scorpio were the winners this week. Three of Cups. Thank you for all your likes and your subscriptions. I really, really appreciate that. Um, where I feel you're at right now is the Three of Cups, which is... I think there are three people involved in your situation. This is a love reading, so that is how I'm reading it. Either you're celebrating a little too much, or there is three people here. Whether that be on your end or the other one. We have the two... <laughs> you can't make it up, guys. This is your challenge. A choice. You guys got a lot going on, man. If it's anything like the other reading, goodness, we got the Eight of Wands here. That's a needing to send a message or someone sending you a message. In the distant past, we have the Page of Swords. Lots of spying. Lots of um, looking over your shoulder. Lots of paying too much attention to something and that could be you or that could be the other person all right most recent past somebody's losing some sleep here they can't believe that they let themselves get in this kind of energy again that's what i'm feeling guys you've been here before in the immediate future we have the ace of pentacles so you have a brand new beginning in your money in in your wealth in being able to provide for yourself so you definitely got a brand new beginning there factors affecting the situation is the five of wands drama gossip haters you name it is in this card so this is the factor affecting the situation. You got somebody, and maybe many people, because there's there's five people here fighting each other. Well, two on this card, but you know what I mean. And five of ones is all about conflict with other people. Or within yourself. Now, it could, it could just be it's your own inner conflict that is messing with you. We have the two of pentacles as the outside influence. This is juggling a couple different energies on the Earth's plane. Hopes and fears is the Eight of Pentacles. So either you're hoping or you're fearing something that has to do with your work. And as the final outcome, we have the world. A karmic cycle coming to a completion. Something is coming back to be revisited because you have to complete that cycle. Five of Swords has the best pops possible outcome. So this is this is a pretty distinct message to, to fight your own ego self here, I think. You know, concentrate on your work, on your money. Get yourself out of this Five of Swords, Five of Wands energy. Five of Wands, Five of Swords, and Nine of Swords energy. No, my bad. I'm blind, guys. I should put my glasses on. That is a high priestess. I'm sitting here bitching at you about a Five of Swords, and it ain't even on here. Um, I don't know. I was feeling somebody fighting. Maybe that's what that was. Um, but there's somebody definitely that's keeping you stuck awake at night, up in your head, making you feel like, and I'm hearing less than. That's what this is all about. Somebody is really going out of their way to make you feel bad for being you. And this, like, this is the high priestess. So the high priestess knows what is true in this situation 
not what is being projected at them. The fact that you have to choose between knowing or, you know, your money. I feel like there's definitely a money situation here. Page of Wands. You're about to get a message about somebody coming towards you that could possibly be your wish fulfillment. A King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio that is making an offer. Now, this is one of your choices. And I think you're, you're understanding what is the Ten of Cups and what is not. Eight of Wands here. You are, are, there's some communication. This person could possibly be younger than you or there is a significant age difference between the two of you. Definitely a younger energy with an older energy. Maybe a blended family too. You know, like somebody's got kids and somebody don't or somebody's got grown kids and somebody's got little kids you know that kind of thing that's what I'm feeling here with this ten of cups it is your wish fulfillment it is what you want you want to move towards this person or away from this person but the ten of cups upright is always usually wish fulfillment I don't read reversals if it's got something to say, it will say it in no matter which way the cards are turned. Ace of Pentacles. What's this Ace of Pentacles in the immediate future? Oh, gosh. Capricorn. The waiting game. All right. What I'm seeing here is you having the strength to walk away from a disappointing wish granted that turned out to be a liar. This person has been lying to you the whole time and you're finding out in the immediate future. Okay? You're going to need the strength to walk away. Okay, you're going to need this, no matter how disappointing this is, it's a lie. You have to have strength. You have to be the one that has strength here. You could be dealing with a Leo. But see this Eight of Cups? Look in the background. Look at the Five of Cups. Somebody might even be pregnant. And you're getting lied to. Alright. Be, probably because you are the Ace of Pentacles. You are stable. You are secure. And somebody's coming in to... Either coming in to mess up your world. Or this person is the person that you need to walk away from. Have the strength to walk away from. Because... Them leaving you up in this kind of energy is not helping you at all. It's just making your life more upside down. And I'm hearing tower, tower, tower. Like one thing after another keeps happening because you won't release this person. Okay. Do I need to stop? Okay, with, it, with this five of wands, we have density destiny um this was a lesson this was a huge huge lesson about your own personal judgment when it comes to people you work with and personal issues you're about ready to wipe the wipe the table and start over okay because the ten of wands has just gotten too heavy and you don't want to wait anymore. I mean, this is waiting. Waiting for something to happen at work before you drop these wands. Your destiny. 
relies on you dropping those wands. Could be a Scorpio. We got Scorpio and Leo so far in the world. So I don't remember which one that one is. I think it's Sagittarius. There is the younger energy. Again, outside influence, two of pentacles. That is somebody that is, now it could be a child, not going to lie, because the outside influence could possibly very well be a child. But I'm more feeling like that is a significant age difference with the page here, the page here, and the page here. That tells me that whoever you're dealing with is quite young if it's not you that's quite young somebody's quite young here very immature um they don't have to be young they just act like a baby you know i mean could be dealing with the pisces we have somebody ghosting you or you're about to ghost somebody else somebody's gonna leave somebody out in the cold Four of Wands. A Five of Pentacles with the Four of Wands? Yeah. Somebody's about to leave a exclusive relationship. Because they're stuck. They feel stuck. So, you're ready to move on from this, I think. You got the Ten of Pentacles here. You don't have to um, be subject to this person's immaturity because you're already stable you already have what you need you're already good at this point in time looking pretty good got money in the bank may even have a nice little family inheritance coming or something but you're doing really well it's this other person that keeps you stuck and the, that's about to come to an end with the world. It's the world spinning. I mean, endings and new beginnings. So there's definitely going to be an ending in this situation. I can't believe I just heard that. But I heard, oh, thank God. I don't, I don't know who I'm talking to, but I hear, oh, thank God. It's coming to an end. Um, the choice again is to take your wounded self hang on to your money keep working 8-8 eight, eight, this is very lucky um, I see a lot of work going on here but I see you hanging on to something that hurts you I think you're going to send a message to this person or this person's going to send a message to you that's going to leave somebody hanging on for dear life. I feel like somebody's trying to hold on to somebody for, with everything they got because they got nothing else. And that's the cold hard truth of it. A lot of manipulation going on here. On either side or both sides. It's like you keep you guys keep playing the disappearing card on each other instead of uh where the hopes and fears card go huh okay um like i said i think you guys are are hanging on for dear life here but the truth of the matter is It's time for this cycle to end. Okay? And a new one begin with the high priestess and her knowing of what is truly for her. The choice is yours. You know, 
Like I said, I feel two energies here. I feel one where you guys are probably about the same age, and I feel one that's extremely younger than you or you're extremely younger than them there is a big age gap with somebody that it's like you went out with them before then you got with this other person you walked away from this other person now you're ready to go back to them i don't know if that's going to work out i would have to read for them to know if i see it happening though you're about to cut a bitch Queen of Swords in their ass. It's kind of what you need to do with the world on the world as the uh, spiritual advice. To pay attention to the things that matter in your life. Go within to seek your answers because that answer is right there ready to be. It's ready, ready to come. This karmic cycle is closing out. You could possibly go, be going to towards a Virgo or an Aries, but I feel like this cycle closes out. This person that you're with now is still going to spy on you. They're still going to mess with you. You need to go in hermit mode for a little minute. Not jump from one to the other, but go into hermit mode and find your story. When I tell people to manifest their perfect partner, I tell them to write it down in detail, burn it, and send it out to the universe on a, on a full moon, and let the universe deliver it to you. Stop trying to control everything, because the more you try to control it, the more it's going to fall apart. It's time for you to take a risk on the universe, and allow and receive. Stop trying to do everything yourself. I feel control freak vibes here. I'm not sure if you, that's you or the other person, but I think, it, I think you're holding on barely to this relationship that you were in before. And you're about ready to let go of it. Let the ending happen. So your new beginning can start because the new beginning looks great. It's definitely better than this. Your new beginning looks like the sun. This is toxic. Somebody lying to you, cheating, stealing, ghosting. And the five of pentacles. Please see this for what it is, Capricorn. My Capricorns. Because... The only love I see here is from you. The other person is taking advantage of that. They're running all over you. They're doing whatever they want to do. Because they think you don't have any choice but to put up with it. Do you? Do you now? Do you have a choice? Indeed you do. All right? Let's get some kippers. Holy shit. <laughs> Lots going on here, Cap. Lots going on here. I don't remember what your last video was about. But if it's like this one, the universe is trying to give you something. You've earned your stripes here. You've earned your stripes. You're going to be in for a significant change in your life. You're going to receive a gift. Mm. Okay. So the per person that you're with don't look a gift horse in the mouth. They may have another person and they're crying broke to them. They're sending messages to them telling them they ain't got no money. Whether they do or not. This other person that they're dealing with that you need to walk away from them for. 
either that person is telling them they don't have any money or they're telling that person that they don't have any money. And this is a gift for you. Because either way, they can have each other. And you can move on to the next best thing in your life. Change. Gift. I feel like you are definitely going to change your mind about this person. And things are going to start changing. Once you change, everything else changes. And then you can come out of this Nine of Swords energy. And get some sleep, Capricorn. Because if you feel like you're having problems sleeping, somebody's definitely having problems sleeping. And without sleep, you will deplete yourself of every bit of life force that you have. All right, girl with the snake. There it is, narcissist. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sudden change, shocking news, upheaval, and transformation. So it is happening for you, not to you. Remember that. The universe will strip you of everything that is not authentic in your life. If it's not real, in this time right now, in the now, nanosecond, if it's not real and it's not authentic, the universe will take it away or make sure that it's leaving within days. Girl with the snake, empath and narcissist paradigm, being charmed or used. I can't even explain that any better. That card says it perfectly. And then... Welcoming love and meeting the one. So, you know who this other person is. The one. And it's not the person you're with right now. Because you guys are mirroring each other. The one you're with now. I mean, if that's the one you're dealing with now. Relationships reflect our wounds. You are both wounded people. And you need to change that. You have many options, a decision, a string alone, or a one-night stand here. And maybe this person was just a catalyst to what is happening right now. But this says someone likes you. Romance is blooming. You definitely have another suitor here. And I think you feel like you're stuck with this person here because you let them in or whatever understand that that's just not true if you have control of your life which it looks like you do you're very well put together um you got your own stuff you got your own world here but you've allowed somebody to come into it that has taken advantage of it so do you have to stay in it no you can choose a different path. Just saying. Alright guys. I hope you enjoyed that video. A little rough. But uh, please like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you next time. Stay safe. Bye bye.